Hey, what's up? My name is Kiriel Roberts, a.k.a. Pimpton. I represent a squad called the CJE Gorilla Clown out of Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, I've lived in Regina, Saskatchewan since 1994. I moved here from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, I'm a hip-hop artist repping the SK. I started releasing music in Saskatchewan in 2008 when I was graduating high school. Um, honestly, the experience was amazing. I definitely played a few shows prior to then. I was doing the mixtapes probably since 2004. But since I was in high school, um, I was able to generate a really nice buzz. And when I had my first show, like my album release party for The Newer Testament, which I dropped in 2008, uh, it was a sold out show, packed house, lying around the block, like one of the best kind of welcoming experiences I think an, a brand new artist could have for their first project, honestly. Where do I produce most of the time in Saskatchewan? Uh, I'd have to say kind of the whole province. I'm definitely an artist who moves around and when I find different artists to work with, I link them wherever, we book the studio and go off. Um, Moose Jaw, Jared from Nebulous Entertainment, so he is one of my favorite producers and engineers, uh, lives out in Moose Jaw. Out in Saskatoon, I work with uh, one of the squad members, Kwame Dolo, King Kwame. He has a studio. Uh, when I'm in Regina, Saskatchewan, most of the time I use my own at-home studio that I've built up over the years. But if I want that professional setting or just that really relaxed studio vibe, I'll most likely book Blue Door and or yeah, Blue Door Studios. Um, I would say my black identity affects my music in the sense that there's nothing I can actually do without my black identity being the foundation of what I'm doing. So as an artist in Saskatchewan, I feel like I was one of the first black rappers here. There were definitely people before me. I, I remember um, Def 3 once rapped with, uh, what was his name? Talisman. So I believe Talisman was before me. But um, as far as uh, when I kind of came onto the scene, I was one of the first black artists, the, one of the only black artists, and my entire crew therefore ended up being black artists that I hand selected when I found other black people making music in the city, whether it was, uh, or in the province even, whether it was producers, um, rappers, photographers, videographers, like anyone just involved in the scene, if they were black, I was just trying to get them close to me in what we call the Gorilla Clan. So, you know, I would say it's always on the forefront of what I'm doing. I always also have to take into account that many of my stories or experiences are going to meet deaf ears because the audience isn't necessarily being tuned into black music like that. So uh, it definitely, I guess, in some ways is challenging simply because you have to fight extra hard to perk those ears to get that attention without people kind of wanting to just categorize you or put you off as just some rapper, especially in Saskatchewan where it's almost laughable to call yourself a rapper. Like that's the reality of the situation. Um, people don't necessarily see the value in pursuing that as a craft and therefore the funding and et cetera isn't put in that lane. So, you know, there's some challenges, but at the same time, it's a beautiful experience. The hardest or most challenging thing about being a black artist in Saskatchewan, in my opinion, would have to be the lack of representation and the lack of funding or accessibility that I feel we have to um, opportunities that are given to other artists in other genres. And I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure if it's simply because we are black or I am black, but you know, being black, that's the first thing I notice and first thing I'm aware of when I interact and how I have to interact. So, um, you know, sometimes you feel like you're walking on eggshells. Sometimes you feel like you're catering or you're changing yourself to fit into this mold. But, you know, I guess at the end of the day, that's also just business and what you just got to do. But 
you know. The best thing about being a black artist in Saskatchewan, I would say ideally is just being a black person in Saskatchewan and being uh, given this opportunity from God or from my parents or from my ancestors, whoever put me here, to essentially be a voice for other black people here and to kind of allow them to see that a black person anywhere can chase their dreams and chase goals and accomplish things that are not expected from them. Hmm. I'd say the number one changes I'd like to see in Saskatchewan regarding black artistry are more representation in the panels and judges and I'd say just the upper level people who control music in Saskatchewan. And when I say control music, I mean control the funding or, you know, have a say in the, in the venue choices or essentially in which artists get put onto which festivals, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just feel like in my own experience, I don't know if it's simply because, you know, maybe I say the F word in a song here or there or something like this, but what I truly feel is that there's just nobody on these panels who understands my position or my story as a black person. And therefore, no matter how amazing my content can be, it will generally fall on deaf ears when it comes to these panel choices because they're catering to who is essentially the person funding Rolco Radio or who's doing these, uh, putting on these events and stuff. And those people are mostly white. So, you know, they pick things that kind of fit in these categories. We don't have representation in these fields. And therefore I feel like black artists are left out of a lot of things, except when they want to do some cultural or, uh, you know, some handout essentially when they want to make room for us and show how, uh, not political, but show how uh, inclusive or 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 diversive they are. And it's just like, well, 90, you know, 360 days of the year, that's not the case. So that's, you know, I think we need more black people, not just white people or other people who, you know, want to speak for black people. I think they need to make an active effort to put more black people in these positions so that they can align with the goals and dreams of black artists in Saskatchewan. Top five black artists I'm listening to right now um, would honestly have to be like the Kendrick Lamars, J. Cole, Drake, um, Lil Wayne is always up there. Kanye West is up there. Like, I, I don't even know if I can just do five, to be honest, because, you know, every day that I listen to music, it's this variety of people I aspire to reach those heights with, you know? Like, I consider those people my peers, so that's really, you know, anyone who inspires me is my top five. Projects I'm currently working on, um, I'm working on so many projects all the time, but to focus in right now, I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to release a mixtape or album in the, like, in the style of what I used to do prior to just being so, uh, I don't know how you would say it, industry focused or uh, mainstream focused. So I'm really working on this project that I've kind of been accumulating for a few years now called, well, I think it'll be called The Way of the Peaceful P, which is a play on um, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, a book that I read, I don't know if it was in high school or a little bit earlier, but nevertheless, um, the, the album itself or project itself is gonna kind of encompass this energy that I'm known, not only known for, but like that I love to bring to the table, you know, the whole from top to bottom, every song puts a smile on my face. So I'm super stoked to just probably just put it out. Like, I don't think I'm going to do some big golden rollout. I think I'm just going to throw it out and let the people have it feed the streets kind of thing. Um, and aside from music, I'm also working on a, a directing a movie. So I'm writing a movie script. Uh, I'm, I'd say about halfway through minus all the revisions I still have to do. But, you know, I've got many pages of script written up. So I think 
directing this movie, doing the soundtrack to the movie, uh, producing the movie. I think those are part of the next projects you'll see Curiel slash Pimpton involved with. Um, shout outs, first of all, of course, to all my black ancestors, my, my parents, everyone uh, who brought me to this beautiful space that I now occupy. Uh, of course, all the other black artists in Canada or in Saskatchewan, particularly new budding artists. Um, of course, Sask Music. I got to give you guys a shout out. Uh, we got Ben in the back, my G, CJTR, Wake and Break. Of course, Rookie for throwing up the, the interview and, you know, all the DJs who've played my music, all the venues that continue to book my shows and just everyone who supported me along the way. Shout out to you.